بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In one hadith, which is quite famous, related by Imam Tirmidhi in his son and Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal in his Muslim and by others, famously known as the Hadith al Bitaqah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, related by Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As, he says, The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, On the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will select and call out one individual from his creation. One servant. So, in the multitudes of people, on the plane of reckoning, on the day of judgment, Allah will publicly select and call out and summon one individual before everybody. So the servants will be summoned. And then his book of, I wouldn't say a book, but his register of deeds will be produced before him. And these are the words of the hadith. His register of deeds. And it won't be one register. There will be 99 registers of his deeds. And each one will be rolled out in front of him. And how far will it be rolled out? There each register, the scroll of each register will be rolled out so far that it will stretch to the furthest horizon as far as the sight can see. That would be each register. And there will be 99 of them. And all of these 99 registers, each one of which will be rolled out to the extent of people's sight, will be full of evil deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressing the same servants will say to him do you deny any of this and he will say no Allah will then ask him did my recording scribes my angels who recorded everything were they unjust to you in any way in their re registering and recording of your misdeeds and he will say no. Then Allah will ask him, do you have any plea to make, any excuse, any defense of your misdeeds? And he will say no. The, ser the servant will despair. And remember, this is a spectacle before the whole of creation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will announce that I have one deed of his. I have one good deed of his. And then a small bitaqah, this is why the hadith is famously known as hadithul bitaqah. A small bitaqah will be produced. And a bitaqah is like a chit, meaning chitti. Uh, a small ruq'ah. A ruq'ah means a small note. And ruq'ah means a smaller, smaller note. So it's a uh, bitaqah simply means a very small note. Maybe enough for one line, and it doesn't just mean card in modern day Ar in modern standard Arabic. One of the more famous meanings of bidaqa is a card, but it's not so much a card, just a label or a piece of paper, a small chit. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will announce that I have one good deed of His, and then a small piece of paper, the bidaqa, a small label, a card will be produced. And on it will be written, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad rasulullah So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then tell the servant, Come, witness your, the weighing of your deeds. Witness the weighing of your deeds. And how will they be weighed? 99 registers, each one of which will be rolled out to the horizon and will be as far as the extent of people's sight. So on the one hand, on one pan of the scale, will be 99 registers of his sins. And on the other will be this one single paper with Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad rasulullah the kalimah. 
So the servant in his despair will say, Oh my Lord, how can this one small piece of paper and one good deed equate with the 99 registers of my misdeeds? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Witness the weighing of your deeds. And then the 99 registers will be placed on one pan of the scale and the kalima will be placed on the other pan. The words of the hadith are Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the, the pan with the kalima will fall down in its weight and fatashat is sijillat, the word is almost as though the registers will fly off. Fatasha. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will announce, oh sorry, the, the ending of the hadith is that nothing is weightier than the name of Allah. Nothing is weightier than the name of Allah.